you know, I go to the gym every day and I see, wow. I see a woman named coach Kathy certain days of the week. Mm-hmm. And she was my coach yesterday and we've, we're friends now, you know, we're, we're yeah. more than coach and protege. Would you consider you a friend? I think she would. I think she would. She, I, I, do you know her last name? Yeah. I know her last name. Yeah. I, I mean, it took me a while to learn it, but now I do know her last name and I, we text each other. Sometimes we'll text mm-hmm. each other about gym stuff. Usually Don't answer that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, you usually, usually <laughs> this is how the court cases start. Usually it's gym stuff. <laughs> But yesterday, I heard I overheard her talking with someone else, and she does some personal training on her own. And she said, "I'm working with a 92 year old woman, and she still lives alone. She drives, and I work on her uh, balance. And she's so strong and so fit to be 92." And I overheard her talking about this. And uh, Coach Kathy, another thing about her is she's almost exactly my age. I'm four days older than her, okay? And uh, let's just full disclosure, I'm 52, all right? I'll be 53 in a couple of months. All right. Okay. So I hear Coach Kathy, I'm just sitting on a bench, doing a little stretch, you know, <laughs> stretching out my arms and such, about five minutes before class starts. And I hear her say to the other person, uh, I'm training this 92-year-old woman. It made me stop and think, listen, I'm over halfway through my life. And I stood up and I said, uh, 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 whoa. I don't like that talk. <laughs> whoa. No, you are not. No, no, Slow no. down. And she looked at me. She said, well, we're over halfway through our lives because she knows we're very close in age. And I said, huh, no, sir. We are not accepting that now, are we? And she said, well, do you think we're going to live to be 106? And I said, yeah, I do. And beyond. I, I have t- it in writing. <laughs> I told her 110. I told her I'm shooting for 110 now. And she goes, you think we're going to live to be 110? I said, yeah, 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 I do. That's exactly right. Then, at that point, another person joins in the conversation and says, I know a woman who's striving to live to be 120, and every day she treats her body just that way. She works out every single day. She has she owns like a health food store. And mm. so she all she eats and drinks are recovery items after a workout, or she plans out her meals so carefully, all in an effort to be 120. Do you have a new mentor? I'm trying to find her. I didn't. I didn't want to be so brazen as to ask yeah. her name Teach and, me. and how to do it. But I. I started after that. I started googling how to live to be 110. There's really not a lot of information. <laughs> no, there's not a lot of. What information. are you going to learn? There. Yeah, it, 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 don't well, smoke when you're 20. There's yeah. not much out there on that. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of factors involved. Some of it's luck. Yeah, of I mean, course. Yeah, of course, yeah. a lot of it's luck. Luck and, and uh, heredity. Genetics. Yeah. Genetics. Uh, they. You know, there is one certain part of the world where they tend to live to be older. And it was a lot of like fish, nuts, olive oil. Yeah, it's a place I believe in Japan, an island there I believe where everyone it's like yeah. the oldest mm-hmm. average age, but it's because of just they've lived there that long. It's a very healthy diet, mm-hmm. genetics. Well, by the time I was done, I had Coach Kathy high fiving me on living to be one ten. I was like, "You better okay, believe me. You, you talked her into it." Yeah, sister, let's do it. So okay. I just went ahead and said that. So that's what we're doing. We're do- we're living to be one ten. So later we'll address the now oldest woman in the in America who mm-hmm. is 114 and her secret to getting there. Longevity. You know, one of the th- interesting for. things you brought up, Kelly, nutrition and, and uh, with the health food store. Yeah. And I don't know if you heard this, but, you know, a couple of our comedians, we had three amazing comics. Uh, We're still coming down off the high of the two guys named uh, Chris 2024 Comedy All-Star Tour. Um, two of them, I don't know about the third, but I know two of them, Mike Spienberg and Landry. Yeah. They are on that AG1 plan. Have you heard of this? No, it's, I don't it's know. It's that green mix. Oh, oh they, seen that. they drink a green, a green mix? Yeah, supposedly they say it has all that you're supposed to drink it first thing in the morning. Oh, really? You put like a powder into a big tub of water, uh-huh. and it's called AG1, and it supposedly has all the proteins you need mm-hmm. for day, and they say... That, they do that, and then because sorry, I was, I was just googling it, and my your TikTok pop up. My TikTok popped up on AG. Hey, baby, I want to apologize. <laughs> no, 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 not this time. Good gracious, <laughs> I apologize. I was uh-huh. googling AG one. Okay, yeah. So it's that green stuff, but they say they swear by it because you know both of them after our, the shows were done. Yeah, they go out. I mean, they're wired. They, they, yeah. You know, they get off stage at nine, nine thirty yeah. at night. Yeah, they eat at ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, midnight. Okay. You know, so right. their lifestyles are very different, mm-hmm, and they try right. that AG1 stuff. I just saw the article I looked at here. I've got a machine that'll talk. Hype or hit, the real deal or ripoff? We review AG1. Yeah, oh. and I said it looks like it smells awful, mm-hmm. but Landry said it tastes kind of pineapple-y. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's got a lot of sugar in it. What does age it? Now I'm all over it. 
Five crucial areas of health, energy, immunity, gut health, hormonal, uh, neural support, healthy aging. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. buying this. And I think... I'm buying this product. And I don't care what my wife says. I'm buying this product. Now, she's going to fight me on this. I know she will. She'll say, this is a scam, and this is a, a thing you don't need, but I'm, I'm going to get can it. Can you make it like an earth- early birthday gift? Yeah, that's what I'll have her get me for my birthday. Okay. Uh, for for my your birthday. halfway birthday? And I'll t- Yeah, for my... That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have her get me that for my birthday, and I'm going to get it early... And I'm going to say, I want it on my birthday every year till I'm 110. What? Do you want a cake this year? No. No. A glass of AG1. AG1 is all I need. What a good idea. I didn't know about that. I should have been present for that conversation. You missed out a lot. I did a lot of, I didn't, I don't like to hang around with people. I like to, uh, <laughs> you don't enjoy, you know, I, that's one of my, it's Biggie can appreciate this because he did stand up comedy before he joined our program, yes. but just hanging with the guys, I, I don't, I never, the do hang that. is some of the, the best part. Yeah. I don't do that. I, uh, sit no, alone. You don't. I sit alone. You're standoffish. You know, very much. So. I'm very, you I, avoid people. Uh, I kind of like, I think Richard Lewis would have, may he rest. May he rest. Richard Lewis probably yeah. was standoffish like that. Exactly. Uh, Spencer knows something about aging. I don't know if he knows AG1. Spencer, you're talking about living to be an old age. Go ahead. Well, I don't know anything about that product, but my sister-in-law is Japanese, and she's from Okinawa, Japan. Her mother is 101 years old and still lives alone and provides for herself. And my sister-in-law is 77, 77, 78 years old. She just had a birthday this past month. And she doesn't look a day over 40. She does Zumba three days a week. And she rarely eats hardly anything. She eats, like, fish and and uh, yogurts and stuff like that. But when I asked her, I said, why do you think your culture lives to be so long, so old? And she says, they learn from a young age not to have stress or to stress over anything. Oh, no. no. Oh, stress? I stress about everything. everything. It was great watching you nod along until we got to that. Oh, yes, stress. yes. Zumba. Stress. Yeah. I thought you were going to say fish. Stress. You had an ulcer. You had an ulcer in your twenties, Kelly. I yeah. did. I had an ulcer. That's condition. clock. All you do is stress. <laughs> God. Oh no. I, thank you, Spencer. That oh, hurts. Spencer. I thought because I was like, oh, perfect. I'll start eating fish and, and yogurt nuts and yogurt, and that's how I'm going to do it. And this AG1 product, mm-hmm. and no, it's all about stress. Well, that's a completely different thing. Yeah, I don't think you can handle that. No, definitely not. Uh, Daniel, you're talking about AG1, an anti-aging, get your vegetables component. <laughs> and a protein. A, and a protein. I love it. What do you say, Daniel? All right, so it's not protein, mm-hmm. but it has all your multivitamins, gut health, like mushrooms, things like that in it. It does taste great. There's zero sugar in it, and I swear by it, man. This stuff is awesome. Really? Whoa. How, how long have you been taking it? Uh, two months now. And have you noticed an increase in energy? Huge increase in energy. Um, huge, like, bowel movements are completely regular. Like, it helps your gut. Mm-hmm. Um, it will not break a fast, so if you're doing intermittent fasting, um, there's no sugar, no calories. So you can still you can drink it in the morning and you won't break your fast. So so are, are we correct that it, you only that it basically becomes your breakfast? You don't eat anything else. Well, you you can eat, but they say it's best to have first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. Okay, I'm but gonna. I'm, you can eat. I'm yeah, gonna. No. But it's pricey. Oh, oh, wait, it's, oh wait, wait a minute. It's wait pricey. Minute. Oh, here goes the yeah. stress. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was getting ready to, uh, oh, the price is going up. Uh, well, I was thinking to myself, I thought, man, maybe we should each order mm-hmm. some and we'll each do it for 30 days and see how it goes. Yeah. And uh, then I clicked on the actual AG1 website because I don't want to knock off. I no, no, you want deal. the real deal. Right. Yeah. And uh, one month is uh, starting at 79. Ooh, but so that's it, but, that's thirty days worth. Yeah. Now, may, I believe there are some promo codes we could find. But if that's real, thank you, Daniel. If that's uh, if it, if it really is, as uh, the comedians have better poo, by, better energy, better poo, better. En- I bet your erection gets better too. Now, these are the things I concentrate on. That Wait, <laughs> does that say that? If we order two months, we get uh, a boner. <laughs> What does it say what's about the, a, what's the promo code? Boner. What, 
I feel like if you're pooing better, yeah, and your blood's running better, you got energy. You got energy. You get a better erection. Is my guess. What are your thoughts on it, Biggie? Give us something. I well, see you're crunching the numbers. In I'm there. looking here. <laughs> if we do He's it, working hard. Yeah, yeah, I see that. If we do a double subscription, we save ten bucks, so that's two months. Yeah. But listen, here's the thing: if you just want to try it once, mm-hmm. it's a flat hundred bucks. Good lord, hundred hundred dollars. Yeah, because they want you to join. I'll join the club. Oh, join the and club. Send it to yeah. your house. But, yeah, because it says, you know, if you do a single subscription, mm-hmm. doesn't say how long. It just says uh, you get a free welcome kit, a canister, a shaker. Oh, and you get five travel packs. That's nice. Well, if if stand-up comedians and a random person on the phone are telling me to do it, I'm doing it. You've done your research. I'm this doing is it. it. This is perfect. This is it. I love this. Landry's is... a fit dude. He is. He's in great yeah. shape. Yeah, Spielberg's all right. He's yeah, he's he, all right. You know, there are a lot of there were a lot of chunky comics. He's not. Yeah, they're, neither one true. of them. That's is. true. Yeah. They were thin. Now I've looked on Amazon too, and it appears there are some knockoffs available. No, nope. uh, no. Nope. For example, one is simply called Jacko Greens. <laughs> no, nope. I don't want a Jacko Green. I want a G one. And in fact, I'm going to ask permission from my wife to order this today. I want this today. I, I hope she's listening right now. Now she'll fight me on this because she'll think it's just some fly by night nothing thing, mm-hmm. you know. But I'm going to go for it. What is she going to do with all these bagels? That's right. <laughs> That's right. I no. I want. I'm going to want this AG One. And if she's within the sound of my voice, I want her to order this right now. A subscription to AG One. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. I'm just into this. It looks like there's also some kind of a dropper, like mm-hmm. liquid dropper included. Now that may be for your junk. Oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe to stronger. Maybe stronger, better erection. How many ounces do you biggie, or do you think you're supposed to drink? Well, it it comes with a scoop, uh-huh. and uh, it says that you take one scoop, and I believe you mix it with eight ounces of water. There it eight. is, and there you is. start your day with that. You know what I would do? I would just make it right before work and drink it in, in the car on the yeah. way to work. That's perfect. Mm-hmm. That is such a great idea, and then I bet it give me more energy. I'm going to start this program. What's seventy nine dollars a month if it leads to age one ten and a good, healthy lifestyle? Pittance, a pittance. A pittance. It's nothing. Mm-hmm. It's nothing if you make it to one ten yeah. in a healthy way. Unless you're driving to work and your shaker spills and then you wreck because you're trying to mop that up. Oh, wouldn't that be mm-hmm. awful? Wouldn't yeah. that be terrible? That's like when I had my. Uh, yeah. Wreck. Oh, oh right. God. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. the wreck. You know the wreck. <laughs> we I'm know talking. it. You know what I'm talking. The about. semen incident. I don't want to... <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it was out of him. <laughs> yeah. If the, you're new to the show. Most of them. <laughs> we, we do get new listeners from time to time. Yeah, yeah most of them. Uh, the wreck of the semen Fitzgerald. <laughs> I had to give a sample once yes. uh, yeah. after my vasectomy. Big, big. I had the big vasectomy, and they had to they had me come in and give a sample to show that most they were- Most people do it here. <laughs> I like to do it in my van. What? It's more natural. <laughs> it is. Well, and, you know, it, it, we have to we have right. to test it quickly. Oh, I'll drive fast. <laughs> Unfortunately, too fast. And I have an accident with an old lady pulling out of a bank parking lot, and bam, semen mm-hmm. everywhere. Mm-hmm. It was awful. That was a terrible experience. Boy, I like that all you have to say is the wreck now, and all of us, <laughs> the rest of us in the room are like, oh, God. Oh, how terrible. What an awful, what an awful experience.